Ramsey Porta, a senior clinician with Trumpet Behavioral Health, and I'm here to talk about Applied Behavior Analysis, a therapy utilized across all of Trumpet Behavioral Health's locations. Applied Behavior Analysis, or ABA, is endorsed as an effective treatment for autism by the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the U.S. Surgeon General. You're probably asking yourself, what exactly is ABA therapy? What does ABA therapy look like? And most importantly, how will ABA therapy help my child? I'm here to talk through these questions. Let's start with the basics. What is ABA therapy? Behavior analysis focuses on the principles that explain how learning takes place. One of these principles is positive reinforcement. When something preferred follows a behavior, that behavior is likely to occur again and again in the future. Applied behavior analysis is the use of these principles to bring about meaningful and positive changes in the behaviors of the consumers that we work with. One of the core features of ABA is that it's very data-based. With ABA therapy, we identify individual goals and then take data on the progress of those goals to ensure that we're making meaningful changes for the consumers and the other caretakers in that consumer's life. ABA therapy has been extensively studied since the early 1960s when the very first issue of the Journal of Applied Behavior Analysis was published. This has led to a large amount of literature based on the core principles of ABA. Because of the breadth of topics researched, we're able to tailor each program that we write to the individual needs of the consumers that we serve. So now that we've covered some of the basics of ABA, let's talk more specifically about what an ABA program looks like. An ABA program consists of a team of highly trained, caring individuals. Within that team are doctorate and master's level board certified behavior analysts that oversee the programs that are implemented by a therapist. A therapist is the person that works hands-on with the consumers that we serve, implementing programs and tracking progress. Programs target things like challenging behaviors, social skills, communication skills, daily living skills, and much, much more. Therapy can occur in a wide variety of settings depending on what's most advantageous for the skills that we're targeting. These settings can include in home, in one of our autism centers, or in the community, potentially even a combination of the three. Now let's talk about the duration of ABA treatment. There are two categories under which ABA programming can fall. The first, comprehensive, targets many different skills and deficits, whereas the second, focused, targets specific skills or deficits such as toilet training. We determine which program to use based on the child's needs and the severity of the disorder. As a result, treatment could last from a few months to an entire lifespan. Now that we've talked about ABA basics and program structure, we can now gain a better idea of how it helps individuals with developmental disabilities. As the treatment of choice for autism spectrum disorders, ABA therapy can have a significant effect on maximizing the potential for all of the individuals served. I hope that the information presented today was informative and beneficial to you and your family. If you have any questions on ABA, Submit them to our Ask an Expert feature located under the Contact Us tab at www.tbh.com. Send us your questions and a clinician will get in touch with you within 48 hours. And remember to read our latest blog at www.tbh.com backslash blog. Have a great day.